Alright, well that's a game of life, with the end results being SD with no kids and two million dollars, me with two kids and one and a half million dollars, and Ambeth with six kids, thirty dollars, and fifty cents. Heck yeah, man! I'm gonna be a wonderful yet firm father that demands respect! But Ambeth, if you do that, then you'll have hardly any money for family, taxes, and generally relaxing stimulants! Well, I plan on raising them like my dad did you and me, purely in the forest. I wouldn't expect you to remember that important part of your backstory due to your faulty memory, Jack. Well, I would say don't remind me, but that would dig me an even deeper hole in this argument. Growing up in the forest doesn't really sound too healthy, my dude. Don't knock it till you try it. Actually, that sounds like a pretty good idea. I bet you guys wouldn't be able to handle living like I did for at least one week. Well, this house is getting kind of boring, and a change of backdrop would make things a bit more famu. And the crime rates have been pretty low lately. I'll call up Sarah, Angel, and Sora to join in on the fun. No! The woman consumes more than the average man! Doubly so when they're pregnant! Last time I checked, the rabbit hasn't died on any of our female friends, so I think we'll be fine. Fine. I'll take the extra challenge. Oh boy, I'm so glad you guys invited me. All of my other friends were too busy this weekend. Angel, we're your only friends. Huh? <laughs> oh yeah, how could I forget? So, uh, beings shut in a uh, dark and brooding mercenary superhero I am, how exactly does being outside work? Do we start beating up the trees for the wood? <laughs> oh no, Sarah. We're gonna do what any normal person does and start setting up tents. Don't tell me you forgot to bring the tents! Oh no, I didn't forget! Alright, cool, because I really didn't feel like driving. We're gonna build our own house! Back. Jack, I wanna go home post haste. Yeah, but this is a preserved campsite. It's illegal to cut down any trees! <laughs> I knew volunteering as a Burt Ranger at this specific time would be a great idea! Brenna, we've been park rangers for two months. And now I've got Jack and friends in the middle of his most heinous plant yet, tearing down the rainforest! This is a regular campsite. Now we just have to wait for him to make the first move. <laughs> It's okay, my dudes. Nature is pretty much my mama, and she loves and takes care of me well. What? You expect building supplies to just fall out of the sky? Yeah! Welp, that was fun. Who wants to play Mario Party at my place? Alright! This can help us get started! Oh, Annabeth, you're so smart and resourceful. Yeah, I am! And hot. Yeah, what? What? Oh. <laughs> hey, Angel. Stop being so lazy and get to work. Yeah, Angel. Oh, no. I'm sorry for slacking on the job. Please don't stick ice cubes down my shirt. You know, that ain't a bad punishment. This is going to get out of hand, isn't it? Yeah, it probably is. Well, you know what they say. Give him an inch, and he takes an iron grip and forms a complete totalitarian government around himself. Alright, Ambeth, we let you rule for about a week, so I think it's time for a casual overthrowing of your throne, so we can go home. What? But every square inch of this place is filled with imagery of myself. Who'd want to leave this behind? Ambeth, you can't even walk two steps into a shopping mall without someone wanting to cave your face in. And we need that on the battlefield. Speaking of, requests are actually probably piling up by now. Heroes! We have a situation with Neptunion! Heroes! You guys finally get earplugs or something? Whatever. It's okay, we're, uh, protectors of the forest now, I guess. Not with all the wood sacrificed to make this house. I just wanna say that I'm really enjoying this juicy drama between you two. Haven't that much since I left the internet to be here. Jack, may I talk with you alone for a moment? Huh? Oh sure, sis. Whatever is it that you need. Jack, you're ruining my chance with Annabeth! Being a cheesy ear girlfriend to a dictator isn't exactly the most healthy and equal relationship, dear sister. 
this is the most attention you've paid to me in months, with minimal insults toward my gender at that. Don't you have a job as a journalist you should be working? Get sooks. I forgot about that one fatal flaw when it comes to forced living. So, what's the plan on getting Annabeth off his throne and out of here without being too demoralized? Accidental arson? Accidental arson it is. Mamma mia! I should have a spicy pizza ready for consuming! Jack? I can see that you jacked up that pizza to the brim with pepper. I can only assume to make me sneeze and accidentally use my fire powers. Dang! What gave it away? Look, I'm quite enjoying my time here. And I'm not dumb enough to fall for that. If you're going to try that kind of thing, try it on that airhead angel. Oh, I'm carrying around a torch in my trip! Oh no! Don't burn in the house with a torch! I'll put it out quick! Angel, that was a bucket of oil. Oh, whoopsie! I thought it was expired water. Oh my gosh! Sora, are you okay? Yeah, I'm part demon, so fire resistance is kinda in my blood. I can't really say the same for you. But it's so warm and cozy in here now. And we gotta skiddy out of here before the rest of your brain cells melt. No! My glorious empire! Nobody told me that wood was impervious to flame! Hey, Annabeth, place is about to go down. You gonna titan existing, or are you gonna hurry up? Yeah, I'm done grieving. Let's get some burgers! Heh, <laughs> man, I knew it. Only someone as evil as you would try to burn down a preserved forest, Jack. Actually, Brenner, this was a completely accidental fire. I tried putting out fire with a bucket of oil. Angel, if that sentence came from anyone but you, I would have had them arrested on the spot. You should probably call the fire department, my man. Isn't it your guy's job to help with this kind of problem? We're heroes, not firemen. Come on, guys, let's head home. I'm already on calling the firemen. Yeah, rolling over people in a confined space for long periods of time isn't really my thing. I'm more of a free spirit who rules over people. Well, at the very least, you're doing dishes for a whole month for this debacle. What? But you said we were in there for about a week! Yup! Six days, 23 hours, and 47 minutes. I rounded up. Aw, oh, man! Doing dishes is the worst! Hey, uh, Jack, do we have a dishwasher? Yeah, but he has to actually figure that out himself first. Huh? What the hecky is this thing? Did I just, uh, push this button? Ooh. Oh, okay, I get it. It's some sort of dingy that plays music for while you do the dishes. You know, this is actually quite nice. <laughs>